The office of the Indonesian president has now backed the country's foreign minister in rejecting Australia's attempts to push asylum seeker boats back into Indonesian waters. Passengers from two boats in the past month claim that the Australian Navy did just that. Earlier this week, Indonesia's military chief, General Mol Doko, seemingly indicated that he was OK with the policy and had discussed it with Australia. But a senior Indonesian government source says that General Mol Doko considers that a misunderstanding of his comments and he was simply indicating that Australia had the right to patrol its own territorial waters but not push boats into Indonesia's. A spokesman for the president, Susilo Bangbang Yudhoyono, also says that Indonesia's foreign minister's rejection of Australia's policy is clear and in line with the overall government's position. That opposition to Australia is also getting cross-party support here in Jakarta. The Australian government action by returning the two boats back to Indonesia is a provocative action. Instead of solving the problem, it will trigger more conflict. It will have an impact broadly and fundamentally on the bilateral relations. It will cost both countries. The Australian government hasn't denied reports that it's buying purpose-built boats to send asylum seekers back to Indonesia. A senior government source here in Jakarta says what's the difference between that and criminal people smuggling networks providing boats for asylum seekers to get to Australia. They say that asylum seekers are illegally in Indonesia as well and so Australia sending them back to Indonesia is unhelpful for the relationship and unacceptable.